Hello everybody, it's Tim here again, <clears throat> right back in the same place I was in my last video, outside. I just figured, you know, screw it, just go ahead and jump and do the review for Unfriended right now. I mean, why wait, you know, any more time, just review it, upload it in the same exact night. <coughs> also, saw, recently also saw the movie It Follows, so that'll be my next review after this one, <clears throat> which I don't know if I'm going to do directly after this video. Um, but, you know, shit, I might. <laughs> But uh, yeah, as far as Unfriended goes, I like this movie. I thought it was a I thought it was a good movie, not a great movie, not a fantastic movie, definitely not a horror classic. But in terms of like the shit that we're getting nowadays, uh, I think this is a good movie. I think this is a good horror movie. Um, I do think this will maybe annoy some horror fans though, because I think horror fans and I mean they like grew up with like the slashers like Freddy and Jason and all that other kind of. stuff. I mean, all the more old school type slasher movies. I think they'll be annoyed by this because this is a movie that I kind of do feel like is catering to more of today's generation, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I've actually heard some people say that as a complaint about the movie, but at the same time, I'm thinking, I mean, what's wrong with the, a horror movie catering to kids of today? Why should a horror movie, at the same time, have to cater to horror fans, you know, my age or older? You know why? <laughs> I mean, I'm the type of person that can appreciate uh, a movie regardless of who it's trying to cater to as long as it's what it's doing is it's doing right it's doing it right. You know, as long as it's not doing it shitty. One thing I will say though is that this movie takes place, you know, pretty much on computer screens. Um, Skype and Facebook and all that kind of shit. And uh that probably could be annoying if you paid a lot of money to see this in theaters that could drag i think this would be amazingly great i mean i think this would be a great movie though just to, like watch on your laptop that would be a really cool idea just to watch it at home on your laptop um i think that'd be a lot of, a much better idea than paying a bunch of money to see it in theaters because i do think they could probably wear a little bit thin watching it in theaters paying like 20 something dollars to go see it you know, just a bunch of computer screens. But at the same time, I think this is an inventive idea and a neat idea just to have a whole movie that takes place on nothing but computer screens or different little, you know, pop-ups. Like, um, I'm sorry. That's something on my mouth. But yeah, different little, uh, you know, web screens or whatever. I think that's a really cool idea. Um, but yeah, just jump into the movie. You got the you got the you got a group of kids here basically who are just logging on chatting with each other one day. You got like the they're all popular kids, and you got like this one fat kid who kind of like sticks out in the movie. And just like why is he there? But he doesn't hurt the movie or anything. But at the same time, I'm thinking what? Pretty much, you got like this person who shows up randomly in the chat named Billy who just keeps fucking with him over and over and over, uh, just like screwing with him. And then they find out that Billy is actually like uh, is actually like one of their their dead friends' accounts who they videotape like passed out and drunk and had like shit on herself or whatever the character's name is like Laura Barnes and uh, you find out that they're using like that dead girl's account whoever this person is you don't know if it's a ghost or somebody just you know fucking with them but um so they just keep getting screwed with more and more and more and basically it tells them if you log off you know you shut your computer down you die so that explains right up front why they can't get off the computer. I'm thinking, you know, I've seen some people this this part of the movie like, why don't they just get off their computer? But if you watch the movie, the person specifically says, if you get off your computer, you're dead. And one person does it, I believe the fat dude does it at first, and he gets killed. <laughs> or not, no, not him. I don't think, he doesn't die first. I believe it's this red-haired girl who comes in and, um, she gets off her computer first, and you find out she had like a thing about seizures or whatever, and she dies from a like a massive seizure. Um, one thing leads to another, and you get to this point in, in the movie where this where the creature or whatever you don't know what it is yet. Uh, it's basically a ghost. I mean, I'll just go ahead and spoil it. it is it's a vengeful ghost of the girl that died. She committed suicide. She killed herself, um, and she's like fucking with with these people who are all responsible for her death or were. Uh, trash talking her after she died or messed up her tombstone, vandalized it or whatever. And each one of them one by one every time they fuck up during this game that uh the creature is having with them where they it's basically where they hold up five fingers and uh each uh, each time the creature will name something off if they've done it, you know, they put a finger down and whoever, you know, has uh 
whoever loses, you know, loses, puts all their fingers down, eventually that person gets killed. But, you know, each, you know, through the game, though, that's pretty much like the whole rest of the movie is that game. But through that, though, you keep learning more and more secrets, though, about stuff that's uh, <clears throat> that the characters have done or have kept from each other. Um, so it does drag a little bit because that's pretty much the whole rest of the movie. And you find out, like, the the main girl has been, like, cheating on her boyfriend with this other dude or did cheat on him once before and uh, has kept it a secret because she didn't want to didn't want to do it again or whatever, you know, didn't want to let the guy know. So she's trying to, she's been lying to him the whole time and telling him she's a virgin. She's been just, you know, bullshitting him. <clears throat> but, uh, but yeah, you get you get stuff like that. You know, standard teen stuff, pretty predictable. But the way the people play it, though, is good. And I like how the secrets come out and everything. It's kind of neat. For as far as the death scenes go, every time somebody messes up, um, the fat dude, he gets a, uh, a memorable death where he gets like a blender, you know, through it to his neck and his like blood shooting out everywhere and he gets it like on his arm and shit. And he, the, the creature makes it look like each person has pretty much committed suicide. There's like this real trashy blonde haired girl who, uh, says the F word a lot. She gets killed by getting like, I believe like a curling iron or whatever shoved down her throat. Uh, okay, kill. Um, the boyfriend though of the main girl, he just gets like a knife to the face or something like that. And he just like, dies like immediately it's just real quick it's kind of a lame death um same thing with the guy that like the girl cheated on her boyfriend with once he just gets like shot once and then he just skips away it's like a really lame death but they but because the scenes are so intense though and these kids do a pretty good job you know being pretty much first-time actors that uh you don't really notice because they happen so quick and you're you're pretty much you know into the movie by then or at least i was that, you know, I was hooked on wanting to see what happens next anyway, regardless of, you know, two week deaths. And by the time the boyfriend gets killed, you know, it's the the boyfriend and the and the, the girl. The girl's character's name is Blair. By the time he gets killed, you know, she's the only one left. One thing I like about this movie though, <clears throat> is that uh she actually is like, you know, actually going on Facebook and everything and trying to figure out how to, you know, unfriend this this girl, you know, hence the name unfriended, you know, <laughs> how to end this shit. Get, get her out of here because she keeps, you know, harassing them over and over. Um, but, yeah. One thing I do think I would have liked better, though, in the movie is if they would have kept you, I mean, not made it so overtly supernatural in the movie. That way you wouldn't really know, is it a ghost or is it just a person, you know, fucking with them, you know. Don't let you actually know who it is doing it. I think that would have worked a lot better. You know, hint at, like, both. Maybe it's a person, maybe it's a ghost. I think that would have been much better. Um, then to just out, come right out basically and say, you know, it's it's a ghost. Pretty much is what they do. But yeah, it gets down to the last girl. Um, and you know, she won't she won't admit that she was the one that recorded the video of the girl being like passed out or whatever. Um, she won't admit that it was her. And she used to be friends with this girl too, who is now a ghost. She used to be friends with Laura Barnes. Um, she won't admit to doing it. And so basically, the ghost says, all right, well. And uh, the girl slams down her laptop, and right there is the ghost, you know, and it's like one last, you know, jump scare towards the camera, and the movie's just over. That one last scene, that jump scare, you didn't need that. That was really felt throat in, um, like kind of like a Blumhouse thing, you know, because Blumhouse, I believe, had a hand in, I'm, or I mean, I believe Blum, Blumhouse released this movie or, or something, or they had a hand in the movie. I know, I believe, I'm pretty pretty sure they released the movie, and they do Insidious and Paranormal Activity and all that shit. And all their movies pretty much end the same. All their ghost movies do with like one last jump scare. So this is pretty much no different. You didn't need that. It would have worked much better if like at the last second her her lab her like her screen, just like her video screen, you know, like my video screen obviously just went blank, just went dark. I think that would have been a much better ending, uh, and much cooler and creepier than to have like some shitty looking ghost just pop out towards the screen, stupid shit like that. I, I hate stupid ass endings like that in movies. You didn't need that. Um, but yeah, pretty much what it is, is you find out each one of the friends pretty much had a hand in what happened to the girl and her, her humiliation. Her best friend recorded her drunk, I mean, mean like passed out drunk with like shit on her, where she shit on herself and everything. Recorded the video and then her, the be, uh, her best friend's uh, boyfriend posted it online. <clears throat> and you find out like the guy that she cheated on her boyfriend with was the one that like put something in her drink that made her pass out, you know, roofied her, basically. Sorry about that. Roofied her, basically, to get her to pass out. Um, so it's like, I've heard another complaint, like, 
I don't like any of these characters, so why should I care about what happens to them? That's one complaint I've heard from somebody. I'm like, do you not understand this movie? This movie is going out of its way to make these all these people look like horrible shitheads so that you root for the killer. This is the movie where you root for the killer. You're like, yeah, ghosts shit on these people. Hell with them. Who gives a rat's ass? So it's one of those kinds of movies. I'm fine with that. I mean, why do I, I don't give a shit about these people? None of them are good people. They're not even decent. So fuck them. I mean, it's a movie, so, you know, of course, if it's real life, they don't deserve to die or nothing, but it being a movie, you know, I don't give a shit what happens to them, you know, <laughs> fuck them. Uh, I'm rooting for the ghost. At the end, when the ghost kills the last girl, I'm like, yay, one less asshole. But, <laughs> you know, shit. <laughs> I'm like, do people not understand that the movie's specifically making you not root for these people to survive? I mean, what? There's plenty of movies with non-likable characters that are still very enjoyable. It's all in the world shit like that comes from. Uh, but anyway, yeah, all in all, it's a three-star movie. I like the movie. It was good. It's a new idea. Um, I mean, the whole technological type horror movie thing has been done before, and it'll still be done in the future whenever some new hip piece of technology comes out. But uh, I like the way they did it here with all the just like video, different video screens. That's a neat idea, and it's something I've never seen before, so I thought it was a cool idea. It's not a found footage movie because the stuff is happening in real time and it's not like recovered footage from anything. So some people have said this movie's found footage. I don't know where they get that from. <clears throat> it's pretty much just like a cyber horror film. Just call it that because that's pretty much what it is. It's not a found footage movie. But yeah, all in all, I'd give it three stars. Uh, my biggest complaint about the movie is pretty much one or two lame deaths and a really weak-ass ending with a shitty jump scare. I don't think you should have seen who the killer was. That way it would have been left up to the imagination. Um, and also, I just think the jump scare at the end is just lame. But yeah, other than that, it's a good movie. Uh, some of the acting from the kids, though, is a little weak sometimes. But for the most part, for kid actors or first or not, well, not really kid actors, but first time actors, it, it's good to pretty good. So yeah, I'd recommend you check this out. It's better than what I thought it would have been. I thought this movie was going to be shit before I watched it. And I was surprised. I think it's a good movie. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys again with a review for It Follows.